We come to you from Montclair, New Jersey, where the National Women's Soccer League has returned to the Garden State. First home game for Ifioma Anamanu in a sky blue jersey starting to score. Meanwhile, Bailey Feist, a premier player stepping up in this fall series. We've got Washington Sky Blue exclusively on Twitch. It's October in the Northeast, the Northeast pod of the NWSL Fall Series from MSU Soccer Park in Montclair, New Jersey. It's Sky Blue FC playing their first home game of 2020 against the Washington Spirit. Welcome everybody with Jen Cooper, Mike Watts on hand. Glad to have you aboard here on Twitch. You look at the NWSL Fall Series standings. Portland with a dominant performance again on Wednesday night, now on six points. Washington needs a win and a lot of help here in their final game to have a chance. Sky Blue very much in the mix. Sky Blue still has two games to go, Mike, so they can surprise us all. Washington, they end today, right? But the nice thing is first, second, and third place in the Verizon Community Shield standings end up taking home some money to give their preferred community partner. Absolutely. Let's talk about some key players in this one. Ashley Hatch picked up an injury last time these teams met back in the starting lineup today. Hatch, so dominant for the Spirit, uh, leading scorer, really, who's active on the roster. She got a goal in the opening game of the Challenge Cup. We haven't seen her since the first game of the fall series, but Richie Burke hoping to get 60 minutes from her today. Meanwhile, Sky Blue FC turns to Midge Persu. Yes, is playing up front again. So happy for all the fans <laughs> that finally get to see her up front. She had the game winner late stoppage game winner against uh, Washington the first time these teams met. So it'll be really interesting to see that battle between her and Dorian Bailey in this game. Yes, Freya Coombe heard you. And also she feels this offense is starting to click. It's Sky Blue, Washington. We may have another late winner in this one. We've got lineups kickoff when we return on Twitch. Welcome back, everybody. The NWSL uh, Fall like Series time. rolls yeah. on. The Spirit playing their Can final game competitively in the Fall Series. Sky Blue FC, Ooh, their Mike third. Mike. With Jen Cooper, Mike Watts. Starting lineups, only one change. It's in the back for Sky Blue. Estelle Johnson in. Gina Lewandowski takes the seat. 
And don't forget about Kaylin Sheridan starting again. She started on the bench, or started the game on the bench <laughs> last week, came in at halftime, starting off the match this time. Of course, she won the Golden Glove at the Challenge Cup this summer. Meanwhile, Washington Spirit making three changes. McCool, McClure, and Jacob Sitt. Hellstrom being asked to handle Midge Purse up front. Crystal Thomas, Ashley Hatch return as well. And Maggie Dowdy Howard in the center there. She had to leave the game early at Chicago, dealing with some headache issues, but she's been medicated. She's back and she's ready to control that midfield. We were told it was an inner ear infection and was dealing with some vertigo during that game, but able to return after playing about 35 minutes against Chicago last time out. And the Washington Spirit players stand together in support of diversity, inclusivity, equality, and the fight against systematic racism. Please join us for a 20 second moment of silence as we are all united against racism. I got disconnected again. Another important moment to stand together by kneeling together. Sky Blue and Washington about ready to kick this one off. Finally, there's soccer back in New Jersey in the NWSL. From Montclair State, Sky Blue taking on the Washington Spirit in the NWSL Fall Series. And of course, Mike, you know that Sky Blue would have hoped that this game could have been at Red Bull Arena, which was planned to be their home for the 2020 season, but I guess we'll have to wait for 2021 for that to happen. Sky Blue FC has undergone an incredible transformation over the course of the last 12 months since they played their last home game about 12 months ago. Rounding ball sends Anamanu on the run. Comes over to Dorian Bailey. Well, Elise LaHue has done an incredible job of trying to professionalize the standards where they train, where they play. Red Bull Arena was a massive step forward at the back end of last year and was certainly supposed to be in 2020 as well. And they brought in some real winners along the way as well. Feels like a different Sky Blue back in New Jersey this year. Feels like a very different Sky Blue. We've already seen some great performances, especially Fiona Onomono, who we, we looked at in the pregame. She scored in both of their games so far. Trouble brewing here, perhaps. Washington got the shot away, and it's knocked down by Sheridan. Ashley Hatch making an early entrance into this game. Oh, with a deep bone bruise picked up last time out, was on the, the plane to Chicago. They warmed her up and felt she wasn't quite ready to go yet, but available to start today. I love that we can hear the coaches on the sidelines, the unexpected benefit of no fans in the, in the stadium. But of course, we have to give a shout out to the Sky Blue fans that are in the parking structure <laughs> on the right side of the field. Uh, we even we even saw that they've got some uh, bullhorns with them. Steered aside by Estelle Johnson, hoping to maintain possession. Washington, of course, had Plenty from the squadron out in the parking lot in Loudoun County, and now in Montclair, New Jersey, Sky Blue gets a little uh, distant support. And you hey, spoke hey, with Freya Coom earlier this back, week, Kelly. and you get the, the feeling she wishes they could have played in front of fans. So desperately wants to have that advantage of Cloud Nine in the bleachers, and while they won't have that. And this is still an important game for them in the larger construct of what these fans are going to see in 2021. And I like how she talked about this facility uh, at Montclair State University, that it felt enclosed enough, small enough, that it still felt like a good, tight environment, balancing out the not quite having fans in the stands. Yeah. There's Freya Coombe, first full season at the helm. You add up her record, 1-3-1 and one last year 
two, four, and two in 2020, but they've got bigger ambitions. Yeah, Haven't had a full deck of cards out. yet. Oh. Service here for Washington across oh the box and nearly at Sheridan fooled. That goes over her and out untouched. Base hit, base hit. Bailey Feist, who's really coming on strong, has really impressed Richie Burke in this fall series. A goal in the fall series, a goal in the Challenge Cup. Um, she's really been a spark, especially when we think of, of who's missing from this game that we saw in the Challenge Cup for the Spirit. Tegan McGrady, Jordan DiBiase, Tori Huster. She's been an important part of their attack. Cujo struggling to keep this in at the far side was tapped out for a sky blue throw. Handful of players making their home debuts for Sky Blue FC. And for Cujo among them, Mitch Purse. Sky Blue getting to wear their 2020 home kit for the first time in the fall series. And it's a good kick. Yeah. Hip check here is good for a whistle. Encarnacion, the referee. Now these teams kicked off the fall series September 5th. That was the first game of the whole fall series. Sky Blue getting a win with that late game winner from Midge Purse. That was the first time, Mike, that Sky Blue had beaten Washington Spirit in four years. Well, what's interesting when I looked at, okay, Richie Burke versus Freya Coombe, what's the record? They've only faced each other twice. They've got that, Freya has that win and then they have the scoreless draw in the Challenge Cup corner final, so Freya has never lost to Richie Burke. Oh. Great ball again, flick! Great flick! Good ball ahead, Hatch. Rip goes high of the crossbar. Hatch knocking that wide, and ultimately came out to Crystal Thomas who had that good assist a couple games ago. Nice ball from Paige Nielsen. I, I can't remember, she's the rock or the mountain, according to Richie Burke. Great work, Mitch Bales, great work. Sometimes coaches will give us a heads up, here's what the lineup should look like, and start to go through front to back, and goes, of course, the center backs, rock and mountain. <laughs> That's a great turn for Washington as they pull into the final third. Ball chip forward, and that final pass off the mark, Sheridan gobbles it up. Yeah, Nielsen and Staub played every minute of the Challenge Cup for the Spirit, and they've played every minute of the fall series so far. I like seeing Estelle, sorry, I like seeing Estelle Johnson back in the lineup. She came in as a sub at Chicago. Such key leadership from the Cameroonian International, who of course is an American, but mm -hmm. now we can say Cameroonian International since she represented Cameroon at last summer's Women's World Cup. Right, once you play a World Cup, that international tag yeah. changes, right? From a roster rule perspective, where does that put her still? She does not require a P1 visa. Therefore. So she is not an international player per roster spot. Right. Yeah, I think I need to teach like a two semester course <laughs> on the <laughs> <Nibisau laughs> roster rules. Especially because then you have international players, they eventually earn green cards and they don't mm -hmm. count towards the spot. Ball. And or like uh, Nicole Momiki from, from the rain, born in the USA, even though she is a Japanese citizen. So she doesn't require international spots. Kujo got swarmed and seems a bit off kilter there for a moment. Back from uh, Sabrina Flores. Open up door. All the way down with Panamanu giving chase. Bledsoe. Ryan. Premier goalkeeping matchup here, Bledsoe and Sheridan. Great job. Well done, Sammy. Bledsoe, the 2019 NWSL Goalkeeper of the Year, would have been in Vlako Nanovsky's Talent ID camp last December, but she was playing down in Australia. We're hearing there could be 
a U.S. camp sometime this fall if they can work out Very all good. the details. Of course, they wouldn't Very be able to play here. a game, but they could have a camp. I'd be really surprised, Mike, if Aubrey Bledsoe is not one of the keepers in that camp. Washington told us they'll play North Carolina in a scrimmage. Scrimmage, yes, exhibition game after their fall series is over because they are the first to finish out their four game slate. Equally, I, I, I think a lot of people would watch the intra-squad if the U.S. women's national team had a camp and played against one another. Right. Attack is on here for Washington. And again, this service swings out of play and Sheridan trying to orchestrate. And of course, Kaylin Sheridan with Canada. Um, there should be a Canada camp coming up soon too. The coaching staff here for Washington Spirit, Richie Burke in year number two. And we're hearing, I think, every word he's said so Seems far. Seems like. <laughs> he's wisely not dropping any expletives. So not yet. We don't have to use the beat button. <laughs> Rest assured, our staff has the cough drop ready. Nice uh, leading ball down the line. And Washington gets this into the penalty area. Wasn't able to swing it across to Ashley Sanchez, who's making the trailing run. Attack still on here. And now Sky Blue able to get it away. Only for a moment. This rolling effort off frame. Really, uh, really busy start for Crystal Thomas. You and I spoke with Richie Burke a bit about what impresses him well, most about Thomas, and it's Excellent. the IQ, so studious, the player who reads triggers very well. Can be a real game changer for someone who's a former undrafted free agent and may have a future here in Washington. Well done, Dorian. Marty Howard. Yes, Good well and Bailey. What I love about this Washington Spirit roster is it's the youngest roster in, in the league. Uh, so much talent, mostly from the last two drafts, but they're not playing like a young team. Sheridan, come on. Uh-oh, trouble brewing. It was a great first touch. She runs back into goal, and the offside flag was up. That was a beautiful first touch around, but the distribution from Sheridan nearly got her in some trouble. I thought she was going to start dribbling up the field. <laughs> Hatchy getting back past Johnson. Sheridan tapping around Ashley Hatch. But then her clearance runs into trouble. We've seen some really good back heel assists from Washington this year. Wouldn't have surprised anybody if it happened again. Washington's had the better of the attacking play so far by a pretty wide margin. Sky Blue has been really able to keep these lines together. Purse collapses in. Come on, Crystal Thomas! Yeah, for Sky Blue, Mallory Pugh still out with an Achilles issue. Lewandowski, who started last week at center back. Uh, it's questionable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Sky Blue, of all the fall series rosters, it's the smallest roster. Um, they did Great sign another choice. player this week, Michaela Howell, um, an English player who's been playing in the New York area for WPSL teams. I couldn't believe it. I was looking around for info on how there's a profile from the Equalizer from 2012 Yes. about her. Yes. Playing for Cindy Harks down at uh, DC United. DC United women, that'll take you back. This will be a corner for Washington Spirit. I love the Freya versus Richie battle on the sideline. This is awesome. And we, <laughs> the and fans. we can hear cloud nine from the parking structure. Jenna. 
see if they're still cheering in a moment. Washington will take this set piece in the 14th minute. Winds the service, looks dangerous, but easy catch for Sheridan, who's looking to distribute, but didn't see much. And every time there's a Sky Blue Washington matchup, Mike, I always think about these two keepers, 2018, together they broke the record for most saves in a season, both recording 108 saves. Last year, they finished tied again at the top of the saves chart. Of course, their defenses had both improved enough that they didn't need to make 108 last year. Both of these keepers have helped take their club to a next level. That was an excellent challenge by Sam Staub, by the way, able to disconnect Anamanu from the ball. Ultimately, you don't want to be leading the league in saves for long periods of time. Correct. But the way these two teams are intending to play going forward, the possession style they'd like may not be the case. Washington getting some pace forward again. Johnson pursuing, whipped across, flicked out in front, off the turn, laid off where Richardson can run over and grab it. They're looking for Yokoyama. Oh, excellent turn to steal that midfield with Waldmo trying to close it down. And Richie Burke has talked about how key Waldmo is to Sky Blue's attack. Uh-oh, Washington has broken through and rolls away and out over the end line with Sheridan coming out and to course, pursue it. Of course, Freya said the same thing when I asked her about Sarah Killian. They gotta get it past her. Ball coming in from the outside. Oh, great ball by Feist to pop it over to Sanchez who qu can't quite get it past Sheridan before. She just doesn't have any more real estate there. Thankfully that post kind of helps the ball trickle out. Mm. Corner for Washington. Have, there have been a couple of interchanges so far that just have your jaw dropping for Washington. Service here on the set piece. Rolls down in front. Okiyama trying to spin off of this. Maybe Sky Blue can catch Washington out. Good step by Cujo. Turns down the overlap. Get together again. Yes. One of the things I like about this fall series format, Mike, is that it, it almost mirrors uh, Champions League first round where you do home and away with each one of your opponents. So these teams had to kick off the series after, what, six weeks of not playing and limited practice. Now all these teams are in a groove and you have that, okay, we had the first leg, here's the return leg, right? Now away goals don't necessarily come into play, but I, but I think that there's just... Uh, there's a natural kind of competitiveness to this format. Agreed. And Freya well, Coombs said we have to get one back on Chicago after last game. Yes, so yes. after that 4-1 loss last week, uh, coaches remember. You better ball pace, you gotta chill. Yes, that's it. And you have to balance that competitiveness with, you know you're building a foundation for 2021. You know, you've got players coming back from injury that you're trying to get more minutes to, maybe testing out players who are on a short-term contract. You know, do you want to sign them for 2021? And meanwhile, I did receive confirmation there are indeed people in Louisville watching these games. You, you, you assumed it, but it was indeed confirmed. The expansion draft soon to come. I'm still hoping we can get Christy Hawley on at right, halftime for one of these games to tell us what he's seen so far. Maybe that would be tipping his hand for the expansion draft. Not competing with anybody. It, once the once this roster selections become more clear, maybe they'll be a little more willing to put out information. Yeah, even though the fall series only has three more weekends, so much more action to come for this fall with you know, you know when the season ends, there's always a waiver draft. Then you have the Louisville expansion draft. Then we have in January the college draft. And and how do we determine the standings for that, right? Like, do you blend 2019 and 2020? Do you, do you take 2020 Challenge Cup and Fall Series together? Do we do a random lottery? 
find out in NWSL Roster Rules 101, <laughs> semester two with Jen Cooper. Now enrolling students, online learning. First for Sues and Doherty Howard went into that tackle. Free kick, sky blue, 19th minute. Well, and similar to roster rules, more competition rules, we should mention we have, in this game today, we have seven players sitting on a yellow card. If any of those players get a yellow in this match, they have to sit out their next match. For Washington, since it's their fourth, it's their final fall series game, that means that player would have to sit out yep, their yep. first game in 2021. For Sky Blue, the two players sitting on yellow, Paige Monahan, Jennifer Cujo, they would sit out the final fall series game. Something to keep in mind, Yokoyama. Thomas, Yokoyama once more. Thomas was surrounded. Long floated ball forward. Sheridan, not there in time. It seems like Hatch has spent all of her time in that 18 yard box. She's picked off a few passes in midfield as well. Made life difficult. Open up, Into the wide area. Two runners entering the penalty area. And whipped across, seeking out purse. There's Bledsoe. that earlier per scored in the 90 plus second minute after an 88 minute penalty for Washington in the first game of the fall series leveled that match up. Washington said in hindsight that field felt a bit like playing on a trampoline. This is a bit more of a, a worn surface than the one in Loudoun. This is home as well to another USL championship team, New York Red Bulls 2. Over the years featured Aaron Long, Tyler Adams, some Pretty major names for the U.S. men's national team. And playing home for the fall series for Sky Blue. And enjoying the New Jersey weather. No, no 80 degree days here. No, this is the right time of year to be in the Northeast pod. 60s, 70s all week, a lot of sunshine. Stay there, Ash. Stay there, Ash. Waldmo, who got a ton of praise from both coaches in the lead up to this game. I like how Freya Coombe described her defensively, the silent, silent assassin. assassin. <laughs> yeah, so effective, but not showy. And, and I think that's why she's been overlooked so much. Praise for Dorian Bailey sneaking this back keep possession for Washington as the Spirit try and navigate a little bit of pressure from Sky Blue. This kept in play. And down the line. Played across, top of the six. Referee's got to dodge this. Sun pouring in here as Bailey sends it across. A little give and go. Marty Howard couldn't get that over the top. Yokoyama sends it back. This knocked on a line at Sheridan. Comfortable save Sarah, for the Sky Blue goalkeeper. Fascinating. That's good. 
trying to drop a player in the midfield off that front line. And there's Anamanu showing a little bit deeper. Good to me again. And served right back to the spirit. Good luck again, Paige. Good Jenna. Richie Burke alluded to it when we spoke yesterday. As this runs out, stop off the mark. Without a full deck of cards, playing exactly the way you want to play doesn't necessarily come as easy. There's a bit more of a learning curve with players with a little less experience getting really, maybe the, for some, the biggest opportunity of their career to this point. So tough to be a rookie this year with limited minutes available. You know, Washington got all five games in Challenge Cup. This is their fourth year, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're playing against North Carolina in an exhibition game. Then they're going to play an intra-squad on the 17th as well, just to get two more games, match quality minutes a couple of times, get one more look at these players before they disband for the offseason. And of course, the coaches have to make the decision, uh, you know, before the end of the month of, well, you know, whose contract are you picking up for 2021 if you're waiving anybody? Of course, a lot of players have already signed longer contracts, and this is the first year in the league that uh, teams were allowed to sign players to a three-year contract. So many players already have. They know, they know their plans for 2021, some 2022. Assuming they're not selected by Louisville. Exactly. <laughs> Assuming they're protected. Good. And both these teams are following uh, similar blueprints, moving into bigger venues, new coaching staffs. Think about Louisville coming in next year. They've got a 15,000-seat soccer-specific. Sky Blue Don't playing to play at TV. Red Bull Arena. The majority of Washington Spirits games were going to be at Audi Field. Lot to like about the direction we're going here. Angel City coming on board sometime, uh, or rather in 2022. We don't know what their name will be, but right now they're just going by Angel City. I don't mind if they keep it as is, but understand if they make a change. Yeah, again. Come on, Ed. Man on. Here we go. Yeah, get up this. Four on three. Four on three. Well, you hear Richie Burke Whoa. screaming it. Four on three. And here comes Washington powering forward. Ball across the face of the penalty area. And rolls out. They want to see Ashley Sanchez continue to work off the dribble. They didn't want her pigeonholed as a left winger. That was a big conversation piece this week. Can we make her more than a 1v1 player? Uh, take a, a player on from that wide area and maybe get a little more central. And she has so many talents, so many skills. I, I like that Richie talked about just needing, you know, getting her a goal or an assist to kind of further boost that confidence, right? This will be a sky blue throw. Sanchez has won so many accolades as a winger. Interesting to see as uh, 2021 arrives, or she'll be. Foul there, Mandy Freeman going into it, coming off a torn right Achilles in the preseason 2019. Getting a chance to feature more and more in this NWSL Fall Series, and Barry Coombe quite pleased with what she's seen. Game one, just wanted to see her acclimate back into the game a little bit. That is a devastating injury to come off of. She was on the roster for Challenge Cup, but didn't see any minutes. So it was great to see her, yeah. her start the first oh, game of the God. series, her first start in two years. Oh, knocked the cross and flicked away. Purse. Very good. Two on one. Two on one. Flores circles back. 
through the contact. Well done, Washington continues to battle. Thomas. It seems like we see that every game. Belly. Crystal Thomas getting up the left flank, sending a ball through belly. to the six yard line. There's room out here. If they're able to continue the run, they can. Yes, Trying to get Amani Dorsey a little bit higher up the field. Cujo knocks it wide. Haven't seen much of Monahan or Purse in the attacking third yet. Ball just hasn't really gotten that far in the buildup. Monahan playing more central. Flores. Estelle Johnson. Defense, put in a bad situation defense. with Hatch well, closing it down. We're good, we're good. Oh, A couple we're instances of misdistribution aiming for Dorian Bailey on this near touchline. A little too much pace on that. Bailey couldn't chase that down. And with that, we've reached a hydration break in New Jersey. Sheridan couple stops thus far, but so far it's been largely a pretty comfortable performance for her and a pretty wide open game between Sky Blue and Washington. You're watching the NWSL Fall Series live on Twitch. Sky Blue FC, Washington Spirit meeting in this NWSL Fall Series finale for Washington and home opener for Sky Blue. They'll take on Chicago later. In the backdrop, you see fans up in the parking garage as we've spoken about here at Montclair State University. Scoreless, just past the half hour mark and our hydration break. Washington has done a good job getting this ball into the final third. It's that final touch they're still looking to identify here. And Sky Blue not getting into that final third much at all. Their first two games of the fall series, Sky Blue got on the board very quickly. Not so much today. Washington, all their goals have come in the second half. But Spirit clearly the dominating team so far, 30 plus minutes in. throw Washington unable to maintain that went by Sanchez Washington still alive to win the Verizon Community Shield but it's a, a difficult road especially the way the Portland Thorns are playing right now Portland at this point the only team that could take max points I mean they they kind of got a late start to their series because of one of the games being rescheduled and then boom two games in what four days both dominating wins. It's like the Portland of old. Yeah. Unloading seven goals in that time. But they do have to go on the road now twice. That game uh, 10 o'clock against Utah. Hey, come on, come on. Airs in the U.S. on CBS Sports Network. Oh, God, come on. They, can they have they never can beaten Utah this. in Utah. Uh, not that long a history, yeah, though. Geez. That's Still, that's Still, six games. That's true. <laughs> and then Sunday, back on Twitch, Houston and North Carolina Courage. You know, I'm looking forward to that one, and not yeah. just because I'm from Houston. What a wild affair they had the first time around. What a ball! Great ball! Terrific diagonal. 
Unlock Washington again. There's a push there. Referee looks in, allows play to continue. Purse went in hard. Around the outside, Flores pursuing. This will pop back out. Thomas again, in goes Cujo. That is a foul and a free kick for Washington. Don't be patient, he's going away from now. So, two things to look at here. There's the foul with Thomas going down, but also this inside the penalty area. Just inside the box. And this was a foul. Getting tangled up with Cujo. <laughs> Like a corner, I was just about to say, this is like a corner, but Richie said it for me. <laughs> Richie is our personal closed captioning. Ball lofted across, headed back post. Sam stopped there. Not bad at all. Playing all the way up, much like we saw in Challenge Cup when she scored off a corner against Portland with that magic flick by Ashley Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Finally breaking through that line of Washington pressure and slipped ahead. Maybe this is against the run of play. There's contact and no whistle again. Monaghan pressures Bledsoe, who's able to sneak this out of harm's way. And that was a nice thought from Paige Monaghan to slip that ball forward teammate couldn't do anything with it but then she pressured the keeper as well we need to see more of that from sky blue sky blues line of confrontation maybe a little bit higher than what washington experienced a week ago they felt a bit surprised by chicago sitting in a little more than they're used to when they play the red stars richie burke called it a sign of respect monahan here steps in and won the ball Yes, Kujo under pressure there in midfield. Be alert, be alert, be alert. Her development alert. in central midfield could be really critical for Sky Blue going forward. Gets a contract moving forward into next year. And a lot of reasons to be excited about what Kujo did at the Challenge Cup. It's all about building on it here in the fall series. Well, and I can't wait to see her combine again with McCall Zerboni. That's a formidable midfield pairing. Very. First is trying to deal with Feist and did so effectively. Freeman hampered shy midfield and a free kick conceded. Sheridan will float forward here to put this in play. She keeps thinking she's a field player. She's pretty good at it. <laughs> with time, scooped into the final third. It's with Sky Blue still. Looking for options. Yeah. Stab to side, Flores trying to get in the way of this. Washington's done well. Break that first line, although they eventually have to reverse. Keep it! Trying to get that. Into the wide area once more. Washington take advantage again in midfield. And now they slowly roll it out. Good white, good white, well done. Excellent Ash, excellent Jenna. Washington has said they're not really surprised necessarily, but a pleasant outcome so far from this fall series. Put aside the record, still passing at the high clip they're looking for. You do see some of these pieces coming together. Feist is impressed. 
Thomas has had some bright moments. Ashley Sanchez playing in a bit of a new role. Good ball. Especially when you think about the pieces that they don't have from Challenge Cup. Tegan McGrady, Jordan DiBiase, Tori Huster. Room here to get a shot away to the back post and that cross. So Tori Huster is now off the injury report. But those were three three players that started most of your Challenge Cup games. It was Yoki Yama here swinging this back. Taking the shot with her right foot across the goal mouth. No one quite in the right place to finish that. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Yes. Go home. Richie Burke will often say 60%, yes, yes, yes. 600 passes. It's a dream scenario. Very good, PG. Searching for their moments here. Here we go. One up the field here by Richardson. There's room here. Monahan. Ryan Page. Bounding oh, hey. toward the end line and kept hey. in. Or did it. Hey, Page coming over, Black. Come on. Well, Bledsoe. Hey. He can't even see that. Trying to goal. argue this point. Let's see if we can't get a look at this. Because it's not where the keeper is, it's where her hands are, where the ball is. As long as the ball has not completely left the field of play, technically it should still be in. Surprising for him to call that. All right! I would think All right! The AR would call that. The best look, sure. But the ball has to be complete, all of it has to be completely past the line. It's, it's not, half out is still in. Bledsoe is clever to circle around and try and bring her momentum the other way. No. This time, no question that she's able to handle this. Washington wants to fly out. Waldmo swerves in, takes it back only for a moment, although this will roll away. Give me! Give me! Hold that! And I think we should have a second Twitch stream, coaches only. The tactical cam like they do for the World Cup. <laughs> the Richie Burke show. Well, they have a Richie Burke show. The Spirit do have a Richie they Burke do. show podcast or radio show. Mm -hmm. the lovely ball. I like how I, all of the nicknames he makes up, like we talked about. Good. The Rock and the Mountain, <laughs> Hatchy and CT. <laughs> Some of those are easier than others. Thomas was trying to break in there. Off the hold up by Estelle Johnson. The foul's conceded by Washington. Good football against South I had a coach tell me this week that a player could nutmeg a mermaid. Once in a while, you come across a, a new phrase you just haven't heard before, and Richie had a couple. That one was not him, though. She's like, I'm, I'm good, Raph, I'm good. Monahan, back to her feet. Richie Burke talking about all these late game antics and game winners and game tying goals, said, my ticker's not gonna last much longer. Well, well, my new favorite soccer quote of the week is, if God had wanted there to be ties, she would have been in numbers. <laughs> all right. Oh, she can play you! Throw here for Sky Blue as they look to grab a goal before halftime. Of course, I'll admit that's from Ted Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Spice Day! You've been, you've been telling me this is where I've got to be now all, oh, all yeah. the last two weeks. Estelle Johnson. Well done, Feisty. Good work. Tommy Richardson, yes. the uh, former Missouri yes. Tiger. Richardson gave that away. She spent almost all of her career with, with Sky Blue, but she did have a stint early on with Houston. Like the very like second month of of Houston's existence, she was signed. Yes, Jenna! Yes, Jenna! 
Ball launched across, kept alive. And then that brief stint at FC Casey never appeared in a game. Right. Work, was waived it. by the team that eventually won the title. And I've always wondered whether there was a ring that came with that. Anamanu into an area there between a rock and a hard place. Well, what I love about the league hitting, you know, an age that we haven't seen women's pro league in this country hit before is players like Richardson who would kind of just, you know, fall off the radar completely when a league falls has been able to stick with it, get tryouts at other teams, you know, and now she's starting to build a career at, at Sky Blue. Flores nearly ran out of room, ultimately did by inches. Five years at Sky Blue for Richardson. And then you look at a player like uh, Sarah Waldmo, formerly Sarah Killian, who spent her entire career with this club, right? Number two draft pick in uh, 2015. She's the only player who's had more than 100 appearances just for this club. Year number six, general manager calls her a quintessential part of Sky Blue Come on. FC. Come on, them. All right, catch it. Let me call like that, look, catch it. Good. Approaching stoppage time in the first of three games this weekend in the NWSL Fall Series. Get us up! Great work! Great work, White! Well done! Portland and Utah tonight on CBSSN for international viewers live on Twitch. Tomorrow, Twitch exclusive, North Carolina and Houston. Tack on here dangerously for Washington. Yokoyama settles, sends it in. Turning effort blocked away by Estelle Johnson. Two additional minutes in this first half. Estelle, like Dolly Richardson from that kind of one of those other Midwest schools, came out of Kansas. And going to a World Cup after some time. Ball launched out of play. Yeah, age 31 gets her first cap with the Cameroon national team. As Hellstrom moves up the field. Hellstrom getting the call to start in this game. Natalie Jacobs had been starting a bit there in the back. Missing a couple of outside backs due to injury. Tegan McGrady, Tori Huster, who were really integral in the Challenge Cup. Tori Huster, I would say, would be like the equivalent of Sarah Waldmo for, for Sky Blue. That she's been with Washington Spirit every season of NWSL. More appearances, starts, minutes, of course, than any of her teammates for the Spirit. Coming into 2020, 142 appearances, all competitions for the Spirit. Yes, Jenna. And not to make her feel old, Keep but she's the only player on the roster over 30. Because this is such a young roster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bulk of their roster is from the last two drafts. Yes, done a good in. job here. Away to Sky Blue. Got their thumb on the scale for much of this first half with about 20 seconds to play. Sanchez. Richardson. Right Again. Off the turn, Cujo followed by Doherty Again. Howard. Well done. Sanchez, unless they get this ball forward in a hurry. Reach that final whistle of the first half. Hey, hey, hey. all right, all right, all right, spit shot. Halftime whistle, scoreless here at the break. Washington, good run of form. They've been owning yeah. this first half. Um, all their goals so far yeah. in the fall series have been second half goals, so I'm expecting a lot in the next 45. Why not? It's the way it goes when these teams meet. Sky Blue and Washington scoreless at the break in this NWSL fall series weekend lid lifter. A lot of the familiar sights, but finally back in the Garden State. Sky Blue and Washington scoreless at halftime. We've got plenty coming up at the break. Don't go anywhere here on Twitch.
Welcome back, Montclair, New Jersey. It is a gorgeous day as the NWSL Fall Series rolls on. There was action on Wednesday and more action this weekend. Let's get you caught up on everything going on as we're scoreless here between Sky Blue and Washington. There were a lot of goals. Portland hosting OL Reign, Cascadia rivalry. In comes Haran. Christine Sinclair, how many goals would she score in this game, Jen? Um, three. Three? Three. How many hat tricks does she have in her career? Three. Who has more? Uh, I think there's some Australian who has four. Fair enough. Uh, penalty there right before the half. Rocky Rodriguez, are you kidding me? I love that goal. I love her celebration of that goal. <laughs> First time two Costa Rican Air Nationals have faced off. There's the other. Shirley Cruz launching it across. Balser, the reigning rookie of the year, knocks it home, made it 3 1. Cruz getting an assist. Rocky got the goal. Nice balance of Costa Rican internationals. And then in the 74th, Christine Sinclair. Whoop, see ya. Hat trick. And again, assisted by Lindsay Horan. Horan getting the assist on both of Sinclair's goals from the run of play. And Christine Sinclair takes home three bouquets of roses. Uh, here's the upcoming schedule. Orlando, Houston on Friday night. Next week will be on CBS SN. Utah, Portland on CBS SN in the U.S. All these games available internationally on Twitch. And that Dash Courage game, a Twitch exclusive. That one's going to be amazing tomorrow night. These teams met earlier in the series with Houston being up three goals. I mean, well, 3-2. And then North Carolina squeezing in that 4-3 win. Crazy game. Yeah, no question. That'll be at BBVA Stadium in Houston. There will be fans in attendance for that one. This played largely behind closed doors. Just some family and friends. Washington away to Sky Blue. It's scoreless at the break. First half highlights coming up. The NWSL Fall Series on Twitch. Sky Blue in Washington. It's the final game for the Spirit officially in 2020. Sky Blue FC's got one more against the Red Stars. With Jen Cooper, Mike Watts, here we go. First half highlights. Sky Blue finally at home, but it was Washington who were putting their thumb on the scale in this first half. And a lot of Ashley Hatch in this first half. Here early on, getting a shot with her left, right into Kaylin Sheridan's hands, though but good to see the striker back in the starting lineup. We talked about rock and mountain on the other side. Kalen Sheridan, certainly a rock for Sky Blue and goal. This sneaks through and Thomas lifting this over, trying to hit that upper 90. Love that ball coming from the back from Nielsen. Skip ahead to the 15th minute. Washington continuing to put on pressure. Feist able to knock this over. Sanchez, that was a tight angle, nearly five hold it. 
Almost trickled in. Wow, looks like she even nutmeg Sheridan. Mm -hmm. She, of course, could nutmeg a mermaid. We all know that. Uh, foul here from Cujo. Doherty Howard knocks this service across. A close but no cigar. All the action in uh, on this end. In the 39th minute, more Washington Spirit chances. Kumi Yama gets that into the wide area. Hellstrom getting forward, combining with Yokiyama, who had the space, fires this cross out of reach. I like the drop ball and then Kumi's cross, but no one there to finish. It looks like Thomas was maybe just a step off. Here are your halftime stats. Did it feel this way? Oh, it felt this way. It's not quite the 600 passes, 60%. Uh, that the Richie Burke is looking for, but we've got another 45 minutes to play. 11 shots to three, but Washington has only put three on frame. Sky Blue had a couple of decent looks coming out of midfield into the final third against the run of play and didn't manage to make much of them yet. Got a second half coming up, and these teams love second half goals. Stick around here on Twitch. Welcome back, everybody. Halftime between Washington and Sky Blue. Players getting warmed up for this second half. And you may really like those Washington Spirit jerseys. You may want to get one game worn. We've got news for you. How about this auction? It was set up by Sam Staub, who reached out to players from other teams. Plenty of time to bid. It'll continue throughout the month of October with proceeds going to support the NAACP and the Boys and Girls Club of America really special situation with Utah. Abby Smith was a teammate of Sam Staub in Australia. Quick phone call. 
they set up this autograph plaque. Every player who featured in the Challenge Cup for Utah Royals available. This is a cool auction. You're talking signed stuff, game-worn stuff, scarves from the Challenge Cup. This is an instance of Washington Spirit and others around the league putting action to their words. And I love that it's players organizing it. And so that auction will continue the rest of the month. There's a great article that Ian Decker put out on WashingtonSpirit.com about Sam Staub's involvement and why those particular charities were chosen. And this Washington Spirit side playing their final game of the NWSL Fall Series. And while it would be tough to see them winning the Verizon Community Shield, still Plenty of money to be handed out there to the top three teams as the standings start to become a little more clear. Portland plays their second game in four days later on tonight. If they get to nine points, they may have this thing sealed up. Right, Sky Blue, they would need to win tonight uh, to, to prevent Portland from almost clinching later on today. Uh, it's, it's pretty close because yeah, everybody's only played two or three, but this is Washington's last game. Standings tiebreakers are a little different from Challenge Cup. First goal differential, then goal scored, then most shutouts. A very unusual tiebreaker, followed by yellow <laughs> red card accumulation. Now, if anybody ties on, on all those tiebreakers, then they just split what the award. So first, second, third place, that's the amount that they are handing over to their community partner, each club getting to pick that partner. And note that in this series, if you do get two yellow cards in separate games, you have to sit out your next game, which means any Washington player who gets her second today, she sits out the first game of 2021. I think you and I were alerted to that fact. Mark Parsons saying, well, Megan Klingenberg's out for tonight's game, right? Right. With a yellow card accumulation suspension, all of us were puzzled. <laughs> Not news we had heard before. Because I'm so used to regular season, it's five for accumulation, right? There's not a regular season. Challenge Cup was a different thing because obviously two in the first round kind of thing. So it just keeps it exciting, right? They, they always keep us on our toes. Absolutely. You can see in the background some really important messages from Cloud9 who have some support there in that parking garage in the background as well. First home game for Sky Blue FC this year. And we spoke a bit with Freya Coombe in the lead up to the game in Washington a month ago. So it was the quietest bus ride she'd been a part of yeah. since taking over the team. And it's it's just simply it's a long bus ride everyone's socially distanced everyone in masks it's a different situation than in years past and when you talk with the sky blue staff they're just excited to be home they wish this place was was packed with fans and while they don't get that luxury simply the comfort of being able to have a home venue for a couple of games is long overdue for this group yeah not not being stuck in a hotel for five weeks right and, and you've got all your comforts of home and, and the weather of home and no altitude mm -hmm. and they mentioned even going to Chicago you don't want to spend too much time together in one place for too long and those are the things you think about now you see Dami Richardson there I spoke with their collegiate head coach from Missouri Brian Blitz they actually left at 9 a.m. Eastern time for a game at South Carolina last weekend and had a little bit of trouble getting going after that. It's, it's gonna be difficult for college teams, for pro teams that are continuing to play throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. And there are a few programs, right, that have the ability to charter places. Mm -hmm. Most don't. Mm -hmm. And Missouri did, but you're still talking five, six hours from point A to point B, and then you get off the bus and play a perennial powerhouse. We're underway in this second half, no changes at the break. So all teams uh, still with five substitutes and three windows in this fall series. Sky Bloom, Washington have the full allotment going into this second half. Go on, go on, Kimmy. Yes, Kimmy. Yes, Kimmy. Yoki Yama steps in and sends the service back post, headed back in front, and now launched away by Sky Blue, perhaps only for a moment. Pressure continues to build. Big collision. Yes. <laughs> and one back by Paige Nielsen in the nick of time. 
like a rock. <laughs> or a mountain. Oh, guys, we can spring it, we can spring it. <laughs> she's the rock, I know she's the rock. A little ball page. Oh. Chest it down and then. All right, all right, well done. Kube. Turning effort Great goes Kube. well out of play. But coming into the second half, immediately putting pressure on Sky Blue again. Richie Burke has joked about how it's, you know, they've been really pushing on his heart. Uh, I mean, like what all three games have had a, had a, a late goal. I'm sure he'd appreciate it if maybe this one didn't. But I think the fans would prefer that it did. <laughs> I think the fans would prefer many, many goals. Yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't want the one late one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Thorsey has a lot of ground to cover. Good choice, Jenna. Good choice. Ryan Ash, well done! The central Ash! Plenty of cowbell, I think. Spirit trying to attack the edge of the penalty area. And Sky Blue recover. Sheridan. Well done! Sheridan drafted out of Clemson where she was coached by Siri Mullenix, former starter for the U.S. Women's National Team. And I think it's really interesting that of all the NWSL clubs, Sky Blue seems to draft goalkeepers the most. Um, Amanda Good McGlynn, this year's goalkeeper drafted on the bench. You know, I did ask Freya, hey, do you, you, know, you think she get any time in the fall series? And said, well, it all depends, right? Like, I want to get a minutes, but she's balancing that competitive need as well. And of course, teams can use up to five subs, so it wouldn't really cost her a, a sub to make a goalkeeper change. Although, if you make one in the second half, you need to keep those windows in mind. Right. It did make the change last week, which we were told was part of the plan. Didi Heracic coming out and Sheridan coming on at the break. Just trying to get different players, different experiences here. Give Didi a start. Allow Sheridan to experience what it is like coming off the bench. You think about the national team situation in Canada, and maybe that does end up being a valuable skill to have in your back pocket. Such a deep pool for the Canadian national team when it comes to keepers. Sheridan's been here through thick and thin for Sky Blue FC. It's a good-looking attack, blazing speed. Bouncing, attempt to back heel that a little bit Let further, and Yokoyama will poke out. Snatch this up. Trying to get by Monahan, but the offside flag was up. Speaking of Canadians making a, an impressive mark on this game, Jenna Hellstrom called in the pasta. A flyer up and down that sideline. Being tasked with a difficult yes. defensive role yes. today as well. Here comes Washington off the turnover in the back. Freeman was there. Yokoyama. Yokoyama! Magnificent! What a goal! Kumi Yokoyama! A curling effort off the post and in. Washington leads. I love that celebration. We've seen that coming all fall series. She's been playing provider, hasn't gotten herself on that score sheet. Rich even talked about how he goes, I want her to get that. She's so close. Vice coming through. Bouncing back to Kumi. Beats Tommy Richardson. Gets it off her right foot into that far corner past Kaylin Sheridan. First NWSL goal is a beauty for Yokoyama. A double. Hey, five minutes strong. Come on, everybody. Silver Bowl 
U17 World Cup about a decade ago, time he in Frankfurt. Even nominated for a FIFA Puskas Award, which is very, very rare. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good NBA. Go 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 so you're saying knows how to score the spectacular goals. Yes. Yeah. First goal, Challenge Cup or Fall Series. They wanted to see Yokoyama just provide a little bit more. Kujo trying to lob this. And there's Bledsoe poking that over with an acrobatic save. Kujo, another international new to the league, saying, hey, I want to get on the scoreboard, too. Right-footed bullet. Bledsoe just getting a hand on it to send it over. Kujo clearly frustrated. She was the breakout player of the Challenge Cup for Sky Blue for me. No question. She was halfway to the corner flag, I think, by the time she started bouncing, realized that wasn't going to be a goal. Service here toward Waldmo. Thomas wants to hold up play and maybe fire this forward. Thomas got that up the line. The offside flag was up. Coming back from an offside position. You know, I've enjoyed this environment here at, at Montclair State, that it does, what, what Freya told us this week, it does have kind of a good sense of enclosure. You know, we can hear the coaches, we can hear the, all the sounds that the Sky Blue fans are making. It's almost as if there's fans in the stadium. It almost feels like as there's a whistle, a foul, a card to come with that, that's Hellstrom. We check our list. Second yellow of the tournament, first of the game. And that means Jenna Hellstrom will miss the 2021 opener for the Spirit. Midge Purse trying to get around Hellstrom, who flings her legs down. Sends Purse to the turf. That's her second yellow of the fall series. Jen made a list. She checked it twice. No presence, though. No, nope, and pulls out a red pen to make marks. Jen Cooper, the worst Santa Claus ever. Just for that, I'm going to send you an almanac. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's actually a great gift. 54th minute here. It's a free kick for Sky Blue. Knocked to the back post, knotted down, scooped up by Bledsoe. Turn off, see if you can find it. Bledsoe, there's a line of three Sky Blue players looking to pounce. Waldmo steps in. There's the silent assassin again. Looping this forward for Purse. And this is where we'll see if Washington learned a lesson last time these teams met. And it's a bit different in that they were trailing late in the game, 88th minute penalty, and then the game opened wide the final five minutes when Sky Blue really wanted to push the pedal down. But for Washington, they felt like the lack of experience on the field adversely affected them. They also felt like getting into the 90th minute of their first game in two months affected them as well. So will the experience from the fall series and the addition of a little more game fitness make a difference here as they try and secure a goal lead now. And that's the challenge of the first matchups, right? All the teams coming back from a break. Um, some players no longer available, so a lot of teams dealing with different lineups. But the progression has been fascinating to watch. In steps Purse. Richardson nearly sliced that right to Anamanu. Dorsey for Purse. Midge Purse 
Richardson slid trying to keep that, caught the player's legs there. That's a foul. Oh, a yellow card to Dami Richardson as well. Your handwriting isn't the best, but I can tell Richardson's not on that list, picking up a yellow. <laughs> Only your first of the fall series. Better than mine, but that's not saying much. Feel like finally have her fit enough to set the foundation, Tommy Richardson, in this new tactical situation. And we're getting getting close to the 60th minute. Of course, both co coaches had mentioned there were some players that they were just hoping to get 60 minutes out of. It'll be interesting oh, to see no, what on, subs come down. up, especially when you know you realize that hey, technically hey. Sky Blue really only has three healthy players on the bench, field players on the bench. Plenty of goalkeepers. Washington probes. Come on, CT! Looking for space out here. Hey, hey, Crystal, come on! Sheridan slows the pace here a little bit. That's the one, Jenna. Go on, Jenna. That's the one. Yeah, excuse me. Go on, Scott. Good. Johnson. Good pressure, well done! Ashley Sanchez was the player who had stepped up. Estelle Johnson made that more difficult. And it's Sanchez on it now. The future legend allows this wide service header steered back to Sheridan. Kumi going for goal again. It had 99 in the previous five years playing in Japan. They seem to get caught a little bit in the turf. Yeah. Washington maybe another opportunity out of this. This one floats. It's floating all the way over the crossbar. Two subs coming. Hatch and Thomas's numbers are going on that board. So two subs, but only using one window. So they still have three subs left and two subbing windows. Jesse Scarpa comes on. Had that late game winner against Chicago. And Katie McClure comes in. Could be a big moment here in the final half hour for those two to try and differentiate from the rest of the roster. Katie McClure, third round pick this year. Jesse Scarpa coming in after training with Washington in 2019, went overseas to Sweden. Come on. Good kid. Good My mistake, kid. Gage, I had it backwards. Yes, Kevin! Center back spread out. Sheridan sprays it forward. Yes, Jenna! Hellstrom came up a little bit lame, but back into play. Yama was a bit withdrawn. They sought her out at the top of the 18. Hellstrom has to wait on this. Turns away from Monahan. Well done. Like she was shot out of a cannon. Past the hour mark. Washington's final game. They need some help, but without a win, no chance for them to win the Verizon Community Shield. They're in the right place right now, but a giveaway. Anamanu trying to force her way in behind. A battle all the way to the end. Keep it! Keep it! Monahan trying to close down the passing lane. A couple of changes on the way for Sky Blue as well. They've moved a couple players over to the fourth official. 
for Sky Blue if they do pick up a victory. Still plenty of opportunity against Chicago in the finale to get to nine points, but that's a long way away right now. We could see a, a crowd in the standings, much like we did for the first round of the Challenge Cup with four did teams we? ended up tied on, on four <laughs> points. And hey, when there's only four games to go by, that's, that's why that happens. And that's why I find the tiebreaker so fascinating that most shutouts is one of them. Yeah. It's Nicole Baxter and Erica Skrosky who come on. Tommy Richardson checks out. Who's playing on a yellow card. Skrosky, another Jersey girl who has spent her entire pro career with Sky Blue. Get up! 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 Speaking of those shutouts, you know, Aubrey had nine last year for the Spirit. She had two in Challenge Cup. If they hold on for a shutout today, that'll be her first in the fall series. Nine shutouts in 24 games. Only allowed 25 goals for Washington. They were second in the NWSL. They were fourth in goals scored. The problem is they missed the playoffs. Cut line being at number four by four points. Had a difficult stretch from June to August last year. Lost six of seven, but notably four of those losses were to teams that finished in the playoffs. Both go! Closed with four unbeaten. With them, a little bit of momentum going into a 2020 where more was expected, even as they continued to pile on more young talent. And of course, they barely had Mallory Pugh and Rose Lavelle much last season, and both of those players have now gone elsewhere. Washington Spirit, of course, trading Mallory Pugh to Sky Blue on draft day, huge draft day trade. And Rose Lavelle's rights have been traded over to O.L. Reign. But in a way, the, the beauty of not having many national teamers is you know you're gonna have the bulk of your roster available to you all season. And I'm, I'm sure all of the coaches are thinking of that as they start making their plans for 2021. You know, the Olympics are still planned for next July in Tokyo. So you know there's gonna be a stretch without players. Ball set across and a quick one-time shot. Wide of the post. Not a bad effort from Katie McClure, the substitute. Hellstrom sending it through, bounces back out to Feist, who sends it across for McClure to one touch it in, sends it just wide. Rookie out of Kansas, she led the Jayhawks to the Sweet 16 last fall. Go back there, Scott! Keep it this side! Yes, us. Hey, Rita. Richie Burke playing up Sanchez's step to Estelle Johnson. Those two have been locking horns a little bit. And Sky Blue's been in possession. Slip by Baxter. Wrestling's just out of the reach of Anamanu. Hey, hey, you're fine. Anamato, one of those other players acquired via trade by Sky Blue. They were so busy in the last offseason. And Anamato from the rain. Mitch Purse from, from Portland. Mallory Pugh from, from Washington. Shaboni comes in a trade Excellent. for Mace. Mm -hmm. Pugh, four draft picks were involved in that trade. A lot of assets given up to get the team's culture, mindset, level of play up right now. And we saw it pay off in the Challenge Cup. They made the semifinal. They, they had never, you know, advanced in a knockout game before. They got past Washington in penalties. 
fell to Chicago 3-2 in the semifinal, but impressive performance, especially they were down 3-0 and came back to challenge late to make it 3-2. Purse. Throw for Sky Blue. Last time Sky Blue has made the postseason was the 2013 semifinal. Win the WPS as an organization in 2009 before the onset of the NWSL era. If any of those people not paying attention back then are wondering now why there's a star above the sky blue crest, that's what that star represents is the 2009 championship. I know that's one of your go-to things to explain because a lot of people don't know. <laughs> <laughs> people are gonna wonder where the Dash's star came from if they put one there. Purse, Purse with a blast out to Monaghan. See, I think Cup should be a patch. Okay. I like that. Kind of like U.S. Open Cup. Sure. You know, like, no, you don't add it to your stars. Those are league titles. But whoever, like, the holding champion is, yeah. the current holder, gets a patch on the side. Okay. Something like that. I like that. Right. Or everybody gets tattoos. <laughs> Dash on. <laughs> Dorsey trying to combine there off the short corner. Throw for Sky Blue as they look to overcome their deficit. Corner back in the 50th minute. Yokoyama with a gorgeous goal in the run of play. Trying to hold up play here for the Spirit. Back to Skrosky. Johnson, positive step. Ran a bit too far there for Sabrina Flores. That's what you want to hear from Freya Coombe there. And certainly they've had more of the ball here since Washington took their lead in the 50th. They spent a lot of time just teaching different ways to attack, to penetrate the 18 to combine in the final third, get these pieces meshed together. Foul one at midfield by Jesse Scarpa. They want to be more clinical here. Meanwhile, Washington is the one on the front foot. Her sends this down, Yokoyama taken off the ball by Dorsey. Purse, whose saga from outside back to wing player has been one of the most followed stories of the NWSL season, certainly for Sky Blue. Breakout year for her last year with the Thorns. Eight goals, four of them coming in two games against Chicago. Meanwhile, Mitch Purse still having time to provide some oversight at her alma mater. Yeah, elected to the, is it Board of Overseers? I believe so. The official title. Keep moving them east and west, go on. Yeah. Brilliant player for Harvard as well in her time there. Dipping ball, this will settle off the bounce. Yeah. Referee says play will continue as Estelle Johnson getting tussled up there in the 18. Perhaps she was the one doing the tussling. I love that Mitch Purse said that when she got drafted by Boston in the spring of her senior year, she just didn't tell her, her professors that she was She'd been drafted and was playing professionally. Same just, field. Yeah. And she's like, they're not going to know. I don't want to tell them. I don't want them to think that I'm not, you know, taking care of my classes. So she started her pro career and graduated from Harvard at basically the same time. Very good, Jimmy. Skips forward. Scarpa unable to 
grab hold of that. Ashley Sanchez continuing to try and pull strings there from a number 10 position. A change of significance for her as this full series concludes. Hoping that that versatility offers options for Washington next year. Driven toward the corner. Runners arriving here for Sky Blue. Cujo. Jordy Howard swallows that up. Keep going up. The good Get step by Goffman. Sanchez Goffman. considers options. Clore. Substitution coming 72 minutes in. It's Natalie Jacobs coming on for Kumi Yokoyama. And what a goal from Kumi Yokoyama, who finally puts her stamp on a game in a Washington Spirit uniform. This came back in the 50th minute. Right-footed bullets just sneaking in that post past Kaylin Sheridan, her first goal in NWSL play. And look at that joy from Yokoyama. And there's a lot of smiles there on the bench too. And then Natalie Jacobs comes in off the bench. Got a chance to play first ah, time these teams ah, met. And ah, Richie on. Burke said, of course, throw ah. her right into the fire with Purse and Pew. Hey. Giving her trouble. Ah. When you get a chance, you switch your McClaw. Good NBA. Baxter. Purse. Can Sky Blue find an equalizer here? It's Purse on the dribble. Dorsey teed up for Waldmo. Yes, KT. Together, together. Washington broke it up. Johnson. Cujo. There's room here to get the shot away, and Hanamanu took it right on the back. Bledsoe launches this out. I liked Freya's earlier comment to Jennifer Cujo, quicker and cleaner. Something to keep in mind as we approach the final 15 minutes. We've reached a hydration break in Montclair, New Jersey. Washington grabbed the lead in the 50th. Sky Blue looking for a home equalizer here on Twitch. Kumi Okayama grabs the first goal of her Washington Spirit tenure. One that Richie Burke had hoped would come in this finale of the NWSL Fall Series. Came out a moment ago in favor of Natalie Jacobs. Uh, defense for offense change. 
as the Spirit try and hold a 1-0 lead. And, you know, once in a while you get to see these unbridled moments of joy from players who get off the schneid, so to speak, put in a real shift, and there's that smile and Richie Burke <laughs> ecstatic. He talked to us earlier this week about how he knew it was coming and he wanted her to get that goal or assist to just push her over in terms of confidence, and there it is. And we, we speak about confidence, and sometimes I think it gets lost in translation it is a clear not former player. You just assume there's a, a confidence that's always somewhat there. You're a professional yes. after all. That's not always the case. Well, you go to new stop. situations or it's just not falling the right way. Right, Richie Burke wanted to see both all Yoki right, Yama and feel. Ashley Sanchez too gain confidence from this game to carry forward. And that's why these fall series games are so important to kind of build on what teams were already doing in the Challenge Cup. No one having any real preseason. You can only test these players and try new systems and build on last year with competitive matches. Inner squad scrimmage is not going to quite do the same thing. First, the three Pinstini told me in the lead up to their game on Wednesday against Portland, GPS for all of our players was in the red from our last inter squad. Everybody was gassed at the back end of that. Trying to get their match fitness back up to par. And they've been especially challenged not being able to practice outside as much. Both they and the Portland Thorns. Mark Parsons spoke a bit this week about the mentality. It's always trying to stay positive. And just towards the end of those indoor practices, just a little bit of, of dread that, that came along. He was quickly able to sort of snap back to it after they got outside again. But a lot of the conversation this year, and rightfully so, has gone to the mental health of players and staff. And there's families involved for a lot of these players. Where the Challenge Cup and the Fall Series can be exceedingly difficult. And it's fewer games than a normal season, but I would imagine all these players, when they're done with the Fall Series, will have that feeling of, <sighs> can take a break, right? No, no one's heading off to Australia to play. The, you know, the W League is a big question mark right now. We're hearing there could be a U.S. national team camp, but you know that would involve most players, of course. So they'll have a well-deserved break. Great read by Purse, and this run is magnificent. Purse plays it ahead, finds Anamanu, who's trying to force her way in. They're pointing, and the offside flag is up. Well, the referee doesn't have to make a more complex decision because the offside flag has Anamanu just beyond the line. How about this from Mitch Purse? From one side of the field to the other, takes it on the left side, works her way all the way over to the top of the box on the other side, tries to loft the ball slightly to Anamanu, who's called offside. That was a joy to watch. Square ball, Washington able to find the other side. Sky blue trying to clog up this Washington passing attack with 10 minutes to go plus stoppage. Good movement, feisty. Good movement. Good. Can you get this? Can you get this? Good job, good job. Yeah, yeah. Scarpa gains praise, drop it in. Hold it, John, hold it. Yes. Again. Good job. Scarpa gonna lift that over the defender and this falls kindly here for Washington. Good NBA, good NBA. Come on, Scarpa! Now 
throw for Hellstrom. Contact, and there is the whistle. It's a free kick. Conceded to Washington. Nine minutes plus stoppage to go. Jenna, Jenna, stay around it. Stay around the ball, Jenna. Stay around the ball with jump. And Cujo goes into the book. That's a yellow card. And that means two in the fall series thus far will not feature against Chicago. That's huge for this roster. Only one home game for Jennifer Cujo and what was this? breakout season starting at the Challenge Cup. Free kick, Washington, 82nd minute. Sheridan comes out and claims it. And interesting to note, Mike, that in the entirety of the Challenge Cup, which was a longer stretch of games, no player got more than one yellow. It wasn't a single red. <laughs> we, we, we had two reds in the second weekend of fall series and already some yellow card accumulation. Sheridan sends this away. I don't know if it's been updated, but there is a video of literally every red card given in NWSL history. It's not a very long list, all things considered. That means it includes the one that was given to Jordan Angeli that was actually meant for Lori Lindsay. <laughs> It's a commentator hey, quarrel now. My twin brother once got a detention because the teacher, we don't even look alike, thought it was me. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Off the throw. Good ball. Second effort. This will be a goal kick here for Sky Blue. Organize again! Come on, Nut! Come on, Nut! Coming up later tonight, Utah taking on the Portland Thorns. Portland look like world beaters right now. Utah had switched their formation with Amy LaPelvet taking over as the interim coach. And they met Portland and never really seemed to get entirely in sync at Providence Park. Now get the chance to do it at Rio Tinto Stadium. That game airs on CBS Sports Network in the US and on Twitch for international viewers. Dorsey. Washington trying to claim another win here. Get to seven points in the fall series standings. Come on, Ox! Good reaction, Blue! Good tackle! Good! 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 Hellstrom pushing ahead. Paige Nielsen. And the center back continuing to battle away. Monahan. Cujo switches the point well. Waldmo. It's Monty Dorsey, winger turned outside back. The rookie of the year finalist a handful of years ago. Fifth round, uh, fifth overall rather pick in 2018 by Sky Blue. She's on the inside of Monahan. Monahan tried to have a go at that. Monahan chasing still. Slid into that and sent it wide. Not just Rookie of the Year candidate, she was Rookie of the Year 2018. Four goals for Sky Blue that year, and she didn't even earn a senior contract until that June. 
I beg your pardon, I'm underselling Amani Dorsey. <laughs> Hendricks set to come on. Hey, you need to jump. Huh? Jenna Hellstrom's what? number is on the board. Not the way I want to see her make her way off. Hellstrom really struggling. So Hendricks comes on. Hendricks, one of many off-season signings by the Spirit. As much as they built up their roster with a lot of high draft picks, Richie Burke also signed several players, young but all with some overseas experience. Hendricks, Hellstrom, Yokoyama, Scarpa. Purse. Anamanu held up her run, but not nearly enough. Flicks it out of play with a bit of frustration. To your point, Hellstrom played at Kent State, set a dozen records there, and then started an odyssey overseas through Sweden, four clubs there. You think about Brooke Hendricks, Iceland, Italy, West Ham, One back here by Sky Blue. Organize midfield again. Don't switch up. Don't switch up. Lisa Baird, the NWSL commissioner, is in the house, taking in the action. Has done a phenomenal job. You think about being placed into the commissioner's role of all years 2020 and putting together the, the 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 first bubble a successful bubble setting up the fall series more airtime on cbs than this league never had on national tv in a year sponsors absolutely can you imagine you know interviewing for a job and saying hey but the first week you start there's going to be a global pandemic right we're warning you and she didn't even get warned Managed this beautifully. Got a lot of praise. Here's Washington trying to find a second goal that could ice it. Maybe slow Richie Burke's heart rate late in this game. Sky Blue scored in stoppage time last time these teams met about a month ago. And it's Purse again leading the charge. Yes, Dorian. Hey, Brooke. Going to do Sky Blue's asking how this could be a foul on them. There's a free kick for Washington. They'll milk a little more time off. Time for Sky Blue to get some numbers forward here. Ryan MDA. Great Free kick won by Sky Blue. They try and play as quick as they can. Referee's gonna come in and offer a yellow card. Looks like that went to Doherty Howard. If so, that'd be her second yellow of the fall series was Doherty Howard. Ball finds Dorsey. Dorsey cuts this all the way across. Had on Amanu and Kujo chasing in the box. Bounces down for Baxter. Kujo sliding in. Washington kept it out for a moment. Anamanu sought out Purse. Sky Blue trying to keep this ball moving, sends it into the mixer again. Step up, 
Washington trying to play a game of territory. Skrosky throws in Sheridan. Get on, get! Good pressure, MDA. Come on, guys, let's keep, keep looking. Fired up field again. Anamanu, overlapping run. Numbers in the box. Cross got beyond Waldmo's pushed higher. Monahan. Cujo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Started sizing that up. Wide area again. Flores ahead. Monahan wins a corner. Just over two minutes to play. Have we seen a corner for Sky Blue other than the one that was kind of gifted by, by Bledsoe picking up the ball? Three so far in this game. This could be the most important one. Sky Blue looking for an equalizer. Did that get off of purse last? This will be a goal kick. There's some consideration there between the officials. Could this be another shutout? For Aubrey Bledsoe. 2019 in which she took home all the goalkeepers of the year. W League, NWSL. And we haven't seen a lot of shutouts in this fall series. Just North Carolina, Orlando each getting one in that scoreless draw and then Portland earning one last weekend. That's been about it. Yep. Final minute of stoppage. Sky Blue level this in the final seconds. Come on, come on. Slides come on. back out. Skrosky off the dribble. Couldn't get to Dorsey. Waldmo lifts it forward. Bledsoe will wait for this. Cujo's got to go chase it. Officially about 10 more seconds here. We'll see. The foul conceded. It was Waldmo this time. And Washington may just need one more kick to get this to full time. Won't even be that long. Kumi Okiyama grabs the game winner. Richie Burke and the Washington Spirit go to way to Sky Blue. Finish out the fall series with a victory. Lost their first one versus Sky Blue. Haven't lost since in the fall series, getting two wins and a draw in their final three. And first shutout of the fall series. Aubrey Bledsoe, the clean sheet. Kumi Okayama with a tremendous goal in the 50th minute. And Richie Burke's side come together to grab points five, six, and seven. They are officially first, but others have games in hand in this NWSL fall series. Post game coming up here on Twitch.
Welcome back. Kumi Okayama grabs her first spirit goal. Washington knocks off Sky Blue, closes out their NWSL Fall Series in style with a win. Two wins, a loss, a draw in totality. Let's take a look at the full-time highlights. Starting the 15th minute, Feist combining Sanchez. That's, that's tough. So close. Love that ball from Paige Nielsen over the top. Sanchez just can't get it past Sheridan, though she did manage to, to nutmeg her. Foul here from Cujo, set up a set piece just past the half hour mark. No Decent one there effort. to finish that. Well, ends up uh, steered off frame. 50th minute, it's a giveaway in the back. Yokiyama, the uh, ultimate winner from all this. Settles, turns, boom. First NWSL goal right inside that post. And the joy, the celebration, love to see it. Move ahead to the 52nd minute. Sky Blue started to look the part a little bit more as uh, we went along. Probably their best chance here. Terrific from Bledsoe to deny Cujo. Bledsoe getting her hand on it to keep it out of the net and hold on to that shutout. Washington seeking another. Bailey Feist was active. And McClure, fresh off the bench, knocks this wide. One touch, so close, but just on the wrong side of the post. Here are the NWSL Fall Series standings now. Washington has no games remaining. They're on seven points. Portland plays tonight and could jump over them with a game in hand after that as well. Sky Blue sits on three points. They will not be able to win this thing. A, a win for Portland now means they have nine points after tonight and they would not finish lower than second. So they've got a good chance to be giving money to their preferred community partner. Exciting stuff. Thanks for joining us here. Glad to have soccer back in New Jersey. That was the main refrain coming in. Utah taking on Portland tonight, 10 Eastern, CBS Sports Network in the United States, on Twitch for international viewers. For our entire Vista crew, led by human alarm clock, Sharni Yerke, Miguel Manella, director Gage Tillotson, Jen Cooper, alongside Mike Watts saying, so long, Richie Burke in the spirit, 1-0 winners over Sky Blue.